And today we're going to make a photo like this, which is going to be an investigation along the lines of, is there any point in taking a DSLR photo compared to using a mobile phone? Bearing in mind the best camera you have, as everybody knows, is the one that's actually with you. My phone's 212 grams, which is six times lighter than the DSLR, so I can guess which one's going to be in my pocket. So, the method I'm going to follow in terms of a fair test is find a tree, use a tripod, take three sets of bracketed photos, one with the phone and one from the DSLR. And we come up with something like this, which is a middle, a lighter exposure and a darker exposure. Not saying which is which at the moment. Here's another set, slightly more portrait. Then we're going to process all the images using the Vibrance HDR app on Android. Then go to Snapseed, Processed HDR, Nature. This is an HDR Snapseed picture, which shows the tree and a little bridge in nature somewhere. So, now we're going to process all the images using Photo Director app on Android add an effect start and quite a subtle sort of blur and vignette to complete our fair test. We get up to something like this. Again, I'm not saying whether this was the phone or the DSLR. Then we're going to compare the results. So which is the phone or the DSLR? Does it really matter? Is there a difference? One on the left, one on the right. Three, two, one. The phone is on the left and the DSLR is on the right, but we've got to look at some context here. So here's another one, one on the left, one on the right. If we did look at our context in terms of a storybook, it might be like this, written by me just as an example. We can see that Peter's childhood tree here may look like this, or look like that. Now you could argue. Let's have a look at the other one. Number one, number two. If you were thumbing through an old school book and it was on old school paper, would it look like this? Or would it look like that? There they are side by side and the DSLR is on the left and the phone is on the right. Remember, there's lots of colour temperatures and white balances and all sorts of different stuff going on that I've tried to do a fair test as I possibly can. Then we can go on and try and draw a conclusion. This was my own study, all done today, earlier on today, processed, made, looking like this, with other projects I'm working on. So the conclusion might be that if there were a book yet not written, which is about Peter and the tree, which image would you say appropriately may go to that page? Is it the one on the left or the one on the right? Food for thought. There they are all together. There's a few different ones I've done there. Of course, DSLR gets control over the full aperture and various bits and bobs. But if you're going into post-post processing, with a style like this, can you get away with a mobile phone if desired? I know a lot of the time I'm out and my DSLRs are in the bag somewhere else, never on me. Have a wonderful day if you're working from home. If not, have a wonderful day. Anyway, see you in the next video.